Hey gang, Private Jack here, and welcome to part one in fixing the gray bands, the SFM models. Okay, so basically you've got your uh, source filmmaker up and running, and you want to put the gray bands on the scout, and you want to paint them, so you load them up, and they come in black the way that they're supposed to. Uh, you add your uh, override materials and send them off into the element viewer come over here to the materials like everybody tells you to do open up the materials you find the one that's paintable you select it and you start painting and nothing happens uh, what's going on here okay well here's the story behind this oh give me my gimp we're going to load up the materials for the gray bands from the TF game folder. Okay, so file, open, and off we go. We're going to go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker, Game, TF, Materials, Models, Workshop, player, items, all class, and we're going to find the folder that the gray bands or the sweet shades, as they're known to Source Filmmaker, live. And that's right here, July 13, sweet shades. We're going to open up that folder and we're going to pick up uh shades color one i think it is just to make sure what we can do is we can actually go and find out which vmt is calling the uh, paintable material right here and we can actually open up that vmt and see what material it's actually calling and you do that in notepad plus plus so I have it opened up already, but if you want to see me go and get it, well, here we go. File, open. And we're going to go to Common Source Filmmaker Game Game uh, TF Materials. TF Materials, Models. And down to workshop, player, items, all class, and find that folder again. Right there, July 13, Sweet Shades. Open that up and load up this VMT. The, this is the actual VMT that is being called, it, the material that's calling the texture. Okay, VMT is the material. VTF is the texture, okay, or also known as the base texture. So we're going to open up that VMT, this one right here, and here we can see the base texture being called is Models, Workshop, Player, Items, All Class, July 13 Sweet Shades, July 13 Sweet Shades, one color, and that's the one that we need to edit. The uh, coloring stuff happens all down in here and down in here okay so let's get that material open color one color and here's the situation and why things are happening the way they are you see in this particular material there are two actual textures there's a main material and then there's a masking layer the way that TF2 works is that any paint that is applied to a white area of the masking, uh, masking um, texture uh, is going to actually be painted. Source Filmmaker works opposite of this. It says, okay, anywhere that the mask has white and there is white underneath the mask, I will paint on that material. So what is happening is because when we apply the paint here, 
there is no white material on the main layer okay it's all on the masking layer none of the paint is getting through to the actual uh, mesh so it just stays black because that is the color that underlies the white that was the quick explanation so how do we fix it well what we're going to do here now is we're going to actually show the layer mask we're going to edit the layer mask and what I'm doing is I'm clicking the right mouse button to bring up this menu and I'm clicking on the actual layer mask here so show layer mask edit layer mask and what we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of copies of this as new layers so to do that right click on the mask and right here new from visible click that a couple of times and the reason for this is that uh, sometimes you can just copy and paste it onto the actual uh, main layer and everything is hunky-dory or sometimes what you have to do is you actually have to merge the the uh, texture down onto the main layer and that will delete the actual layer mask and then we have to go back and we have to create it so by having a copy of it here we've got it and we don't have to worry about it everything will be will stay fine okay so from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the layer again on the main layer and I'm going to turn off show layer mask and I'm going to turn off edit the layer mask and I'm going to disable the layer mask right here so if I turn these guys off what I should see is this black material with the lenses here and these little gray patches here are the little clips here okay so we've got that so far that's good now what we're going to do is we're going to turn back on one of these visible layers and in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure one of them are selected I'm going to right click on it uh, no I'm not I'm going to grab my color selector tool and I'm going to select everything that is white that white color now if I hold down the control key and zoom in with my mouse button or my mouse wheel I can see that everything is pretty much selected the way that I want it to be okay there might be a little bit of white showing uh, after we finish this but we won't know that until after we actually do the fix so once that's selected I'm going to right click on it I'm going to edit copy now I'm going to come down here to the main la uh, the main layer I'm going to turn that off and what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this main layer and I'm going to go edit and paste and everything should turn white with the exception of the lenses and those gray little squares okay all I have to do now is make sure that these two layers are turned off and anchor the layer now I've got something that looks almost identical to what was on the uh, masking layer okay now with that and because things worked properly I don't have to worry about uh, creating the layer mask okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-enable the layer mask and here you can see how this is turned dark and this is turned transparent the reason for that is on the layer mask anything that is black on the layer mask will push the actual color that's on the main layer through uh, the um, through to the model so I should get my little gray clips that are here and this gray area here is going to shade up 
this black area here so we may have to fiddle around with this a little bit to get it to work properly we won't know until we actually export okay now that we have this looking like this what we're going to do is we're going to delete these two layers because they're not required anymore we're going to make sure that show layer mask is turned off and that disable is turned off you can leave edit on if you want it doesn't really matter but I prefer to turn everything for the layer mask off before I do my export I'm going to now export this texture to a separate folder and I'm going to create a material path it used to be we used to be able to save just over save the stuff in the TF uh, uh, folder uh, and everything would work fine and and we didn't really have to worry about anything but with the changes like the weapons here or the uh, the glasses here where they've changed the UV layout or the gun uh, the sea weapons uh, the dead night is another one that kind of thing where they've actually changed the model up to be different versions in the game uh, then what happens is you end up polluting the TF mod and you don't want to do that anymore because it just just makes life miserable so what I'm going to do is I'm going to file export and I'm going to create a new folder and I just happen to have one already made called TF uh, uh, or correction material fix a uh, mat fix and I'm going to create this path in that folder so that my sweet shades will be picked up before uh, anything else okay so come back here to game I'm going to create that folder called mat fix I already have it created I'm going to go in there and now I build up that path the same as what the original was so materials models player or workshop rather player items all class and I've already created the folder here called sweet shades uh, I would actually create that folder and drill into it and this is where I would save this fixed material so export now this material has alpha in it so I want to retain that alpha so I'm going to check alpha on and I'm going to leave it at a version 7.4 and click export now if everything worked properly I should be able to now go back into my sweet shade or into my SFM uh, uh, session type in here mat reload material and I could specify the material that I want to reload or I can just come in here and go Matt reload all materials that way if I've changed multiple materials all the materials are going to reload hit enter wait for a couple of seconds and as soon as I see this type of activity happen in the console I should be able to just now move my playhead and everything will paint up properly just like that and that is how you fix the sweet shades that are SFM specific okay the original stock FS, uh, SFM model okay any questions just leave comments in the in the uh, comments area and I'll get around to them when I can so with that I'm going to like close out of this now and set up for doing the material fixes for those of us who have actually extracted the TFT uh, TF2 game content and ported it into source filmmaker remember if you, we go back and we look at this from the intro this is the material that we fixed okay this is for the sweet shades SFM original model it is not for the extracted T 
TF2 game model. Okay, I'm going to do another video now on how to fix these materials. So with that, I'm going to say private jack out.